So Ian is top of mind for everyone, especially our family and friends in Florida. And the stats about Ian just can't be ignored. So let's talk about it. Here are three things to know about Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian will go down in history as a beast of a storm. I named storms are the most retired and Ian may join that infamous list. The World Meteorological Organization takes the names of deadly, destructive, and costly storms out of rotation so we never have to hear those names ever again. Since 1954, 13 I named storms have been retired. I is the ninth letter in the alphabet, hence the ninth name on the list. It is most likely that we reach the letter I during the peak of the season when the Atlantic Ocean is most favorable for hurricanes to form. Hurricane Ida was the only name to be retired in 2021 with an estimated $76 billion in damage and killing more than 100 people. Now, storm surge, what Ian will be remembered for all along the west coast of South Florida. Check this video out along Bayshore Boulevard, just south of downtown Tampa. This was earlier today before it made landfall. This beach looks much different than you would expect with a hurricane on the way. It, appear, it appears like the water is all gone. While ahead of the ocean water flooding the city streets, the hurricane acts like a vacuum and pulls the water away from the the shoreline before unleashing it. It's Ian's storm surge forecast reaching expected to reach a whopping 16 feet and some forecasts calling it up to 18 feet at beaches south of Tampa Bay area. So Ian is a beast. We've talked about it. It's a massive hurricane. And at last check, the hurricane was roughly 300 miles wide. That's about the distance from Boone to Wilmington. Everyone across the state of Florida is getting some impact of Ian. Last night, Ian underwent an eye wall replacement cycle, which means it got a brand new eye that was larger. And that was its last one. That transformation helped Ian get even stronger and expanded its reach of impacts. Just before it made landfall, everyone on social media was chatting about how Ian was merely about two miles per hour shy of being a Category 5. Wow. I had never heard of that. What? It, please expand on that, um, the eye wall replacement. So it's real complicated science, but basically there's a, a larger eye that starts to form around a little eye, and it kind of collapses on top of it. And then at night, it starts to, overnight, the water gets real warm, and it redevelops itself, and it brings a new one that's even larger. Wow. But it only happens in major hurricanes. Like, it has to be a strong enough organized hurricane for it to get to that stage. So more than likely that happens when you're talking category four um, and then they get even stronger. So it's pushing that category five. If Ian probably had more time over water, more extended period, it could have got even worse. Wow. So when you were talking about the names of the hurricanes and I being ninth on the list, does the higher the letter mean the stronger the storm or explain that a little bit? So the letters are just, that's how we move through. We call them different letters uh -huh. for each time. And so depending on the season, you know how fast we get through the letters. Mm -hmm. So last year we had Ida in August. Okay. So that was a little bit earlier because we were just like flying through the season. Mm -hmm. So it really just depends each year, but it's more likely that I will occur somewhere around the peak of the season when the water is okay. good and when the conditions are right for stronger storms to develop. And obviously when, it, when storms get over land, they lose strength but this one I mean you you know the forecast I mean it's set to go out kind of off the Florida coast off Jacksonville so I mean there is a chance it could increase well it, it when it does move over land it is weakening but because it's so powerful to begin with I mean weaker is still very strong it's mm. not as if it was already a tropical storm moving over land then it's weaker but it's a category four moving over land it does something but it's still such a beast of a storm that it's still expected to be strong but here at home I mean our impacts are going to be so much less the images you may be seeing circulating on social media, we are not expecting that here in the triad.